Good afternoon, it's March 23rd, and today I want to talk some about appearances. Uh, you'll notice that I have my clerical collar on, um, I'm wearing jeans, but if I'm being honest, I thought about wearing, um, I thought about wearing pajama pants, because I've been wearing a lot of them lately, and they are comfortable. And if you're home for uh, what looks like probably another six weeks, then why not dress comfortably? Um, but I'm wearing this for the appropriateness of the appearance. Um, there are a lot of times uh, that we can pay attention to window dressing, that we can pay attention to how things look, on whether we said the right words and the right tone, um, and whether we um, look good in an outfit or don't look good in an outfit. There are a lot of minor things that ultimately don't end up mattering that much. Churches all too often argue about these minor things. There's a great term called adiaphora, um, and what we translate this as is things not necessary for salvation. We spend usually far too much time um, as individuals, as groups, as societies, worrying about these minor things, worrying about how people look or how they talk or how they dress. I dress, for instance, much more formally on Sunday mornings than most of the folks in my congregation, because that's one of the expectations. But ultimately, that isn't what matters. In Isaiah, which is one of my favorite books of the entire Bible, um, there is a question asked, a rhetorical question. What to me, says God, this is Isaiah 1, verses 11 and following, what to me is the multitude of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I have enough of burnt offering of rams and the fat of fed beasts. I do not delight in the blood of bulls or lambs or goats. When you come to appear before me, who asked this from your hand? Trample my courts no more. Bringing offerings is futile. Incense is an abomination to me. New moon and Sabbath and calling of worship. I cannot your endure your solemn assemblies with sin. Your new moons and your festivals are wearisome to me. They have become a burden. I am weary of bearing them. When you stretch out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not listen, because your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean, remove the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good, seek justice, rescue the oppressed, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. What Isaiah is telling, what God is saying through Isaiah is that the proper worship, the proper words, the proper animals and sacrifices in their appointed times, um, the proper look of the thing, the proper music is not what matters. What matters to him is a community that cares for each other, loves each other, supports others, that they cease to do evil, that they learn to do good, that they seek justice, that they rescue the oppressed, that they defend the orphan, that they plead for the widow. Um, those last three are all uh, groups that are imperiled. My message for you this day is that you, in this time, consider how you either might fit into one of those groups, how you might feel like you are one of the oppressed, or perhaps orphaned, or perhaps like a widow, that you don't have a way to sustain yourself. And if you are one of those groups, that you reach out asking for help, from not just the um, social agencies around you, but the people in your community. And that if you are not one of those three, that you try to find a way to support others. There is an awful lot of need right now. And in the midst of our need, we do not need to worry about how we look, about whether we're wearing a clerical collar or jeans or pajama pants. We don't need to worry about how we sound we need to worry about each other. We need to care for each other, love each other, and support each other. And recognize that every person we see through a video screen is made in the image of God. That God's face is imprinted upon them. 
and that we need to care for them in that way. That's why I'm doing all of these from home, not going into the office, because I want to do that as part of my way to take care of sisters and brothers, those who I know and those who I will never meet, and everyone else. Amen.